Let's have a little fun. Now let's do the opposite. Let's do f of g of x. So now it's going to be the exact same thing, um, Tyler. But now what we're going to do is we're going to plug the g of x or the g of x function into the f of x function. You don't need to show all this work. I'm just showing it so you guys can really kind of conceptualize this. So now you're going to plug that into that function. Uh, when doing that, so now you're going to have 2 times x minus 1 squared plus x minus 1 minus 3. Huh? Where did I get the 3? Oh, I don't know. Well, the 3 was the original problem. 3 was the original problem. All I did is wherever I saw an x, I replaced it with g of x. You guys see that? See what I did? Watch. OK, so now we need to make sure we can multiply this. x minus 1 squared. You guys should know how to multiply a binomial um, that gives you a trinomial squared. You guys could use FOIL, the box method, but that's going to be your answer. So therefore, I have um, 2 times x squared minus 2x plus 1 um, plus x minus 1 minus 3. Well, now I'm just going to apply distributive property. So therefore, I have 2x squared minus 4x plus 2. Here, I can do minus 1, negative 1 minus 3, which would be a negative 4. And then I just combine my like terms. I can combine the x and the x and the number and the number. So my final answer is 2x squared minus 3x minus 2. Okay. 